Let's talk hard truths. Okay. Yes, but this time with, I don't want to say a question. Is it a question? You know what? Let's talk hard truths. That's what it is. Let's talk hard truths. Have you encountered hard truths or truth lately? And it, you know, someone telling you hard truth or you come in to realize the hard truth about something. So at worship last night, we were having a conversation with my kids and I came to realization that I am not as emotional as I would like to be. Yeah. Are you emotional? Do you embrace your feelings? Do you sit in it? Do you feel it and then move on? Or are you like me, someone who doesn't express her emotions outwardly? I may deal with it internally, but outwardly, I don't really showcase it. And so, like I said, we were having worship last night. Uh, one of my sons is actually struggling in school and it's hard as a teacher, you know, to have that. So he was in his feelings and I was like, you know what, it's fine. Feel what you're feeling, let it out. And I was like, you know what, come to think of it, I don't really express my feelings. And I asked him, you know, how much times have you guys seen mommy cry? And the answer was surprise you. It surprised me. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so the kids started thinking and someone was like last year or maybe two years ago, my oldest son said in his 16 years of age, he may have seen me cry five times. And I was like, oh man, what am I teaching you guys about you know, the words, I'm trying to find the words. What am I teaching them about feeling or embracing or sitting in their feelings? And it really had me starting thinking and contemplating about the example I'm setting for them. You know, I am showing too much of my masculinity and I need to soften up for them because now they would think that women don't cry because I don't really cry and it's not that I don't cry I know that we all express ourselves in different ways if I'm being honest in my last relationship crying was felt my, my partner felt like crying was a form of manipulation. And so, to not seem like I'm manipulating him, I stopped crying. I think the previous relationship before that, um, I cried a lot. I remember crying a lot. But in this last one, yeah, not so much. And so it has made me so hard that now my kids see me as hard. Hard truth, right? Yeah, so now even though I dress feminine, may present feminine, I have, I am still showcasing a lot of my masculinity, a lot of wounded, woundedness. And so last night was really hard and eye-opening. I don't want my kids to think that women don't cry, that we don't feel our emotions. I need to start showcasing it more. Also in my last relationship, they never saw my partner and I argue or fight. My kids don't know that, you know? Um, so before I, I left that relationship, I had to actually distance myself and showcase some stuff so it didn't seem like, you know, mommy was just 
uprooting us and leaving for no apparent reason because there were no what do you say no disagreement I know I'm rambling but hard truths are hard it really is and so last night while we were talking with the kids you know a trickle here or a trickle there and I'm not you know what I am just not that person like if I get bad news heard someone die I have a cousin who would be on the floor rolling and bawling and screaming and she's in the moment I on the other hand I don't react that way a tear might run I will feel terrible but not to the point where there's so much expression so am I making a big deal about this yeah is my reaction normal uh, let's start a conversation because I pride myself in setting good examples for my children and last night just was hard it was hard and I know I have a high standard for them I know I can be really hard on them and hey single parent uh, just a mother who really loves her kids I always tell my children you know parents who love you set boundaries have standards you know I just feel like parents who don't love you let you do what you want now I could be wrong please don't take offense that's just my belief you know so the fact that I don't show my emotions and my kids <laughs> let's start a call let me know if what I express is normal or I am still in that wounded state and I need to work on letting my emotions flow like more femininely rather than masculine. Anyway, you know what I always say? Let's thank God for every day. This is why I'm grateful for every day because you know what? Tomorrow I can strive to be a better person. I could learn from the lessons and the conversations and the thing I've done things I've done today tomorrow if God gives me you know so I'm grateful for every day right every day above ground is truly a blessing so let me know what you guys think until the next one